Hello everyone, welcome back to another Baldur's Gate 3 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to level up. Uh, if you guys notice here for my characters, we've got these uh, pluses, but they're more like crosses on the top right of our portrait here. In the bottom left hand side of the, of the uh, screen here, if you left click on your cross here or on the portrait, you're going to see here that it says level up. We can now go ahead and start taking on some new um, skills, some new spells, you name it. So let's just go right through the process. Uh, in this game, my main character is a High Elf Ranger. We're going to do some leveling up. So, when you look over on the left side, you'll see here that we've got more max hit points per level. They're now at 18. Uh, we've got spell slots unlocked. And we've got some passives. So, archery, and in this case, uh, I'm going to go... I'm going to go with defense, because I find myself getting beat on quite a bit. Actually, no, let's stick with... Let's stick with archery. Cancel that. Um, one of the things we're going to do here is we're going to se select some spells. So I'm going to customize this. These are the first level spells that I can learn. Right now I've got Hunter's Mark, which marks a creature as your query to deal an X. Oh, that is nice. So that makes a lot of sense because we're playing as a ranger. And uh, speak with animals, of course. Gain the ability to comprehend and verbally communicate with beasts. Interesting. Let's see what else we've got here. Long Strider. That increases the movement, so if we want to go in and do some melee attacks, jump. Uh, triple jumping distance. Okay, Hail of Thorns. This looks pretty scary. Dealing an additional 1d10 to target. Okay, Fog Cloud, Ensnaring Strike. So we put them in a bind. Literally, Cure Wounds. Oh, Lord, I think I got to get this. Because uh, I get dummied on a lot here, and I can't, I can't go down. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and select, I'm going to take this, and then I'm going to take Heal Wounds. So, uh, let's go with the heal, Cure Wounds part of me, and Hunter's Mark. And I'm going to click Done. And everything else is the way I want it to be. So I'm going to hit Accept. And I have leveled up my character. I'll do the next one here for you while we're at it. Why not? Let's see what we got here. Uh, this lady is a high elf, half elf cleric, pardon me. She's a trickery. She's into the trickery stuff, and that's her deity. So anyways, let's go right into this. She's got five prepared spells. And what did we get? I guess we got a few more hit points. We got a spell slot unlocked. We got the ability to channel divine energy, starting with two effects. Turn undead, and an effect determined. Okay, and this is the new one. Turn undead. Presents your holy symbol and pray. Each undead that you can hear. Okay, this sounds actually pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and customize. And we also got Invoke Duplicity. Ooh, look at that. That is very cool. So let's go ahead and customize. These are our five prepared spells. Now, Guiding Bolt. I haven't used that yet. Create Water. I haven't used that either. Command. Oh, talk to the hand. How about that? Okay, that's not bad. And Bane, target up to three creatures. They receive a D4 penalty. Okay, so I kind of want to go with uh, this one here. Cure Wounds. I, I Healing Word. Let's go with Cure Wounds instead. Creature you touch regains 1D, 8 minus 1 hit points. And this one is 1D, 4 minus hit points. So let's go with that. Uh, let's accept it and bang we've leveled up our character guys that's all there is to it i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i'll be back more with some more stuff soon cheers